Alright, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create or how to set up your units in AutoCAD for your different drawing. Now, the first thing to, before you set up your unit is that you're going to simply activate your unit command. Now, your units will decide on what you're basically deciding. What unit are you drawing in? Are you drawing an imperial measurement? That's feet and inches. Or are you drawing in metric measurement, centimeter, inches, millimeter, centimeter, millimeters, meters? All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is type UN on my keyboard, and please be familiar with your um, various commands so you can have ease when you're working. So let's type UN, enter. A window is going to pop up like this, and you simply set up your units. Now the units that you're drawing in, so. Oftentimes, you'll, if you click on this drop down menu, you'll see various things such as architectural decimal, um, engineering, fraction, scientific. Um, you can leave that one on decimal. All right. For the precision, it is up to you. Um, if you're doing, um, say, um, mechanical drawing, just, you could probably have yours at um, 0, 0.0. All right. That, that's good enough. If you're doing building drawing, you could, you could have it on, on 0. You could set that's up to you all right because you, you don't want to you, it's basically how much you, you're going to be arranging your thing all right or you can leave it at this one here so it's up to you how much you want yours to be all right so i'm going to leave mine on um zero for now but please know that if you're using fractions within your drawing basically saying like 1.5 1.6 1 it might not be visible and what article is going to do is that, is that it's going to round off your numbers all right so in this case we have um our units our units that we're going to be using is millimeters now there are other units such as feet inches surveyors feet all of that stuff meters you decide what you're going to be drawing in, in our case we're drawing in millimeters now on the right hand side of things you'll see something that relates to angles all right now for basic angle drawing and you'll keep it on this here all right you'll keep things on here all right if and the precision you can also adjust it as well um, again it's the same like that on the left for the first for the angle it depends on what you're doing if you're going to be using say survey as unit then you could go um, with degrees minutes and second or survey as unit um, you could also choose radians if you're using um, radians and then we have grads graduations as well all right for what we're doing here um, you can keep it on um, degrees decimal degrees that is basically 90 degrees 10 degrees those type of stuff that i'm talking about all right so that's basically how you set up your units in autocad once you have selected all of those just simply select okay and your unit is all set up all right so i hope this video was informative um please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one